Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of One and Done. Today we're going to be taking a little dab into the Messenger. This game is really fun. I haven't played it in quite a while since I had so many games uh, come up between then and now. Uh, but I got about three to four hours in the game, I think. So we're going to start a new save, and we're going to start from the very beginning. Uh, just to get a little taste of what the game is like. I absolutely love... Oh, four and a half hours, okay. Yeah, I, I love the game. I love the art style of it, how it plays. It's just really, really, really fun. And it's not that expensive of a game either. And from what I know, I think it's on a majority of consoles. Uh, right now we're playing on PC. Um, let's go and put in our name. Yes. That is really pretty. I miss games like this. Another day and still no sign of this so-called western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this and magic scroll that. Nothing happened in centuries, so why are we still hiding? I wish I could leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around everyone, history lesson is about to begin. Oh great, another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Alright, so... Okay, X is... Attack. Very smooth action for jumping. Those two don't do anything yet. I love the fighting style in this game. It's just extremely smooth. We're not having to try the new course. Show us your cloud stuff technique. Jump, hit, jump. Oh, I remember that. So it's really... There you go. So you do have a double jump. It just comes after... Whoops. Whoops. I want to get that again. There you go. Look at that. I love that technique. But look who decided to grace us, grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real. And should they... Oh, right on time. They have returned. This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Oh, that took him out quick. Don't go. You are not ready. Whoa. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who may you be? <laughs> I guess wording for that. Are you really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die. That sound. Impossible. It seems luck is with you this day. Barma Thazel. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly my king. Count your blessings, ninja. My minion will take short work of you in the autumn hills. Are you the western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you? Why is this scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be on our, our only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. You got the scroll. You have been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across the curse of the world. Alright, here we go. Oh, 
One second, guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to get some work done on my car, and it's finished. Ooh, nice. I love the fluid action of the fighting. Oh, no. I gotta get over you. Thank you. going smoothly and easily so far, but... Okay. What's this? Whoa, trippy. This is so weird. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyways. So, I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the mountain where the three sages from the order, or all from his order, will be waiting for you. Your order. Slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. <laughs> this is awesome. Just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one is on the house. Enjoy. You got the climbing claws. Ooh. Press against the walls while airborne to stick to them. Need anything? Yeah, let's take a look at the upgrades. Ooh. I forgot about this. There's like a solid upgrade tree. Love this. Okay. We need... Oh, we can get this now. Okay, what's this one? HP plus one concealed... Arm guards make you more resistant. Yes, please. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores one hit point. Meditation. Checkpoints. Okay. Defense up. Key charges. Okay. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe. Okay. Second wind, press A while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. That's handy. Underwater dash while swimming to boost forward. Nice. No. I believe. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you, the cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You think you can just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? No skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to get used in the outside world and maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. <laughs> this is your last warning. You better make sure you have time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. <laughs> I kind of want to. You asked for it. Didn't, don't say I didn't warn you. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps me bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one really can explain what it is. I think I finally cracked the code, you see. Everyone has goals. So you think, yeah, you can't, you can't, blah, I can't skip this. You see, everyone has goals, so you think if I have this and I'll be happy, or then when I achieve that, I'll have eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. <laughs> this is awesome. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of the time and being visited by countless travelers, I come, came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future, to when the goal will be achieved. Then you can... Uh, this can only fail because once you reach your goal, you are not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. 
And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state. It's a system. You optimize your environments and cherry pick the people around you. So that every day you're uh, just stoked to live your own life and you don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. Now I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life. And that implies that you stop trying to open my cabinet so I really hope I bored you to death. <laughs> That's awesome. You should see what I did to the last traveler who got nosy. Hey, I heard that. Oh, boy. That was actually pretty insightful, though. Alright, so let's try... Oh, that's handy as heck. just being careless. Ah, gotcha. Well, I'm not taking that jump yet. Launches blue shells like it's Mario. Oh, look at that. I don't think we have enough. Oh, that was just a checkpoint. That was an actual door. Okay. Okay. Can I knock it out of here now? Oh. That is interesting. So can you hold it? Yeah, you can just hold it. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh no! wasn't falling fast enough. Now I'm just getting lazy. Whoa. Um... can't make that. I like... I like how the music goes dim when you're underwater. What are you? That was... Whoa. Oh no! Please heal me. Uh. Ben. I don't want to take a chance and hit them. Need anything? Uh, yeah, let's go for an upgrade. Oh, we can. Strike of the ninja. Attack enemy projectiles. Empower your attacks, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off of them. Range attack. Tap into your mind's key energies, allowing you to throw energy shurukens uh, with Y. Ooh. Um. We could do ranged. I want to see what this looks like. 
Those are limited. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So you gotta be real careful with those. Whoa. Did we just witness? Whoa. Excuse me. I am getting real comfortable with this game right now. This is fun. This game is real fun. It is so smooth. Oh no! So that little demon dude right there. Oh, a new customer. What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name is Quarble. Quarble. At your service. I'm the one you never would have met had had you any skills. Ooh, burn. The gist of this is I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, so what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in this little met notepad. So I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I'm bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. It seems we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eye. Carry on then. Yeah, so... Like, those things go to him instead. Okay, let's continue on. Yeah, let's just pay him back right away. Come on. Right. What? And he's gone. Just like that. So it seems you're one, uh, you're one to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed into, you smashed instead of collecting? It's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding one is, is all optional, but if you're the kind of adventure that likes to go from the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. 
And who knows, it may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. <laughs> anyway, I'll be in my shop. That's awesome. So. I can't go down though. Should just be fine with this one. Yeah. There we go. Uh. Wait, how do we get? Oh. Yoink. Do those go through walls? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So for being a, a small indie game like this, well, small-ish, compared to like a triple-A title, this game is packed with stuff. with a big mystery chest. Or mysterious chest. It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. You still need to smash 44 power seals to open that? 44? Holy cow. Yeah, we'll go for an upgrade. Oh, we could do this one right away too. Second one, press A while being knocked back. <gasps> yes! Got him? That was fast. Was that our boss for the, the level? I think that may have been. The Forlorn Temple. That is going to do it for our first level. And I think that's a good step into the game. Oh my god, this looks pretty. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a really fun game to get into again. Save... We'll end it here for today's video. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section below, and maybe we'll get a little Let's Play going of, of uh, Messenger, or any of the ones that you see in uh, in the One and Done series. I'd be more than willing to do that. I love playing all these games. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, and peace out.